Picture yourself transported back to the year 79 AD to the middle of the mighty Roman Empire. You find yourself on the bustling streets of Pompeii, surrounded by the vivid sights and sounds of everyday life in this ancient city. As you look around, you notice people engaged in lively conversations. Laughter echoes through the air, filling the city with energy. But little do they know that less than 10 miles away, Mount Vesuvius, infamously known as the Pompeii Volcano, simmers on the brink of a mega eruption that will impact all their lives. Suddenly, in the blink of an eye, molten lava shoots skywards, and you stumble as the earth trembles beneath your feet. A thick veil of ash and smoke obscures your vision just before an overwhelming wave of heat engulfs you. Darkness descends as you are entombed alive. Welcome back, science fans. After the eruption, the ancient Roman cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum were lost to civilization for nearly 1700 years before finally being unearthed by archaeologists in the 18th century. But even though the eruption killed thousands and had a lasting impact on Roman society, it doesn't make the list of the most catastrophic eruptions of all time. Instead, those eruptions come from the realm of supervolcanoes, which are considered exponentially more dangerous. Eruption intensity is measured by the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI. It's a logarithmic scale ranging from 0 to 8, with each increase in number representing a tenfold increase in the erupted volume of volcanic material. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius is estimated to have been at a level of 5, with an erupted volume of 1 billion cubic meters. That's enough to fill 4 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. However, supervolcano eruptions measure 8 on the VEI scale, and can emit over one trillion cubic meters of material into the sky and back onto the Earth. To put this in perspective, that's equivalent to 400 million Olympic-sized swimming pools of ash and molten rock burying the landscape for hundreds of miles. These cataclysmic events are thousands of times more powerful than regular volcanic eruptions and would have global impacts by causing climate change, mass extinctions, and even ice ages. One of the most well-known supervolcano eruptions happened at Lake Toba in Indonesia. It erupted 74,000 years ago and produced one of the most colossal volcanic events in history, spewing unbelievable amounts of ash into the sky. The eruption plunged the Earth into a cold volcanic winter, creating a genetic bottleneck among human populations. This means the volcanic winter led to a big decline in the human population, resulting in a smaller gene pool for future generations. Another supervolcano is the Taupo volcano in New Zealand, which experienced numerous eruptions throughout its history. Its most recent, the Oruanui eruption, took place approximately 26,000 years ago. That event covered much of New Zealand's North Island with thick layers of ash. And finally, there is the Yellowstone Caldera in Yellowstone National Park in the United States. Established in 1872, Yellowstone National Park encompasses a vast wilderness stretching across Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. Renowned for its diverse wildlife, stunning geysers, and scenic vistas, the 3,500 square mile park draws countless visitors every year. Yellowstone is a geological goldmine with spectacular attractions such as Old Faithful and other natural marvels, but its beauty is only a small part of the story. Hidden beneath its captivating landscapes lies a massive supervolcano, the Yellowstone Caldera, a caldera is a large crater formed by the collapse of a volcano's magma chamber. The Yellowstone caldera measures approximately 34 by 45 miles, making it one of the largest volcanic systems on Earth. It may be unimaginable to Americans, but this supervolcano has erupted three times in the past two million years, with each eruption significantly affecting the continent. The most recent eruption, approximately 640,000 years ago, was one of the largest known events in history and resulted in the Lava Creek Tuff, a layer of rock that now covers parts of the western United States. Scientists believe another eruption is inevitable, but will we ever know when one is about to blow? The answer is that predicting them is complex, and we still haven't figured out how to do it. For now, scientists can use various monitoring techniques such as seismographs, GPS instruments, and gas monitoring to track activity and gather data. While this information may help us to have a general idea that something is coming, it won't tell us exactly when it will happen. 
So unfortunately, we won't have enough time to allow for the mass evacuations of the surrounding states. Yeah, that's correct. Entire states will need to be evacuated, not just towns or cities. Millions of people will be impacted if Yellowstone erupts. So, now you know why the ground beneath this national treasure is a ticking time bomb. You may think we have what it takes to stop a super volcano from erupting, but our 21st century technology still isn't advanced enough. We wouldn't be able to control such a massive geological event. The sheer amount of energy in a super volcanic eruption would overwhelm our efforts. But let's push the limits and hypothesize what steps we can take that may help mitigate the intensity of the eruption. In 2017, NASA scientists proposed a theoretical concept of drilling into the magma chamber and circulating cold water inside. This would cool down the magma and release the heat as geothermal energy. It would also release some of the pressure that would be building up inside the volcano. This idea isn't new. In fact, drilling into volcanoes has been done before in Iceland and Italy. However, digging into a supervolcano like Yellowstone is a different story altogether. The depths and high temperatures, reaching up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, pose big obstacles to our current drilling technology. Another problem is that there's an immense amount of pressure in the magma chamber, with some estimates suggesting that it's equivalent to the weight of 10,000 elephants. Although some scientists feel this could reduce the chances of an eruption, others aren't convinced. Drilling could actually make things worse by creating new pathways for magma to escape. In fact, it could potentially trigger the eruption we're trying to avoid. But not only that, we may accidentally cause earthquakes in the surrounding area. It's a chilling thought to imagine yourself in the path of an erupting volcano. But if you're prepared, the odds of surviving may shift in your favor. The most important factor in this life or death situation is how close you are. Are you within 100 miles? Well then, it's an easy answer. You would probably be killed instantly. Even at the edge of this zone, you would experience devastating pyroclastic flows, ash fall, and scorching lahars, which are volcanic mud flows. Your chances are better if you're a few hundred miles away. But unfortunately, you would still be in a life-threatening situation. These areas would experience heavy ashfall, which could collapse roofs, contaminate water supplies, and disrupt transportation. Every breath you take could be deadly, since fine particulates and ash would be floating all around you. From the start, the most important step is to assemble a survival kit. You'll need non-perishable food, water, and medical supplies. A mask that filters out fine particulate matter would be critical to help you breathe. Next, develop a comprehensive evacuation plan with your loved ones and identify multiple escape routes and potential safe locations far from the eruption site. Make sure everyone knows what to do and where to go. Finally, why not throw in a few comforts too? Maybe a board game and a good book to keep you entertained during the long haul. Over time, most Americans will need to adapt to a new reality. Large swaths of the United States will be rendered uninhabitable. Millions of people would need to be permanently relocated, and what's left of the country would be severely diminished. Even the global climate would change because reduced sunlight from volcanic ash would affect agriculture, leading to food shortages. But let's look at the brighter side of things. If you're lucky enough to watch the eruption from a safe distance, and I'm talking hundreds of miles away, take a moment to appreciate the incredible power of nature. You'll have a story to tell for years to come. Don't miss any of our new videos. Hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Thanks for hanging out with us while we explored super volcanoes. But there's more to explore. Have you wondered about rockets that will take us back to the moon and then to Mars? Did you know we can now land and reuse them? Click on my next video to learn about SpaceX and their amazing reusable rockets. Until the next time, 